Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 9 on Fargo CW. Watch out for a possibly dangerous phishing email that's being sent out to people in the Valley. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. The email looks like it's coming from customer care with U.S. Bank, but it's not. The scammers want you to believe you got a money transfer, and then they ask you to click on a link. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson investigates. You open up your email to find this, the subject line, U.S. Bank send money message, payment received. When you open the email, the scammers want you to believe you got a money transfer through Pop Money, which is a site you use to send, request, and receive money. The email claims a U.S. Bank customer sent you funds, saying click here to register your account with the U.S. Bank Pop Money service. Never, ever, ever click on any link in an email, ever. Don't click on any links. Technology expert Brian Schott says it's a phishing scheme. U.S. Bank doesn't own pop money, and that person sending the email is after your banking and personal information. You can't be phished if you verify. Whether the email claims to be from your bank, a friend, or a Nigerian prince, always verify that's actually who's sending the email. First thing you want to do is contact your bank. Let them know you received this email. Um, ask them if this is valid. Same thing with Pop Money. Contact Pop Money and say, hey, I received this email. I want to verify that this is correct. While Pop Money will send out emails to those who use the service to alert them about a transfer, in this case, it's a scam. A representative from Pop Money says they're aware and are working on finding out more. If you get one, delete it and double check with your bank that everything is okay. Nicole Johnson. Valley News Live. We reached out to U.S. Bank to see if they know about the scam and haven't heard back yet. We have tips on our website of how to spot and avoid phishing schemes. Just go over to valleynewslive.com.